Hey everybody, Seville here, and today um, I figured I would just kind of record this video just because I was doing it and about right at the last point where it was a mini CTF, I was like, hey, I might as well record this. I was actually doing this room because I figured I, I could learn a little something uh, with web fundamentals. Uh, I always feel like there's always something to learn, so I figured why not and uh, went through it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, if you have an idea of web fundamentals or, or web exploitation or things about the web like uh, request HTT HTTP requests and cookies and all that type of stuff, um, request formats and codes and status codes and stuff like that, um, then you'll pretty much, you know, you'll probably fly through some of this stuff. But the uh, added links to some of the um, resources here for extra information is actually really good if you want to get a little bit more granular. I always feel like um, I lack the um, really specific knowledge that I'll probably never be um, required to know, but I just feel like I have to or need to know it. So I'll go through it and uh, really uh, get on myself about not knowing it or not reading it or not understanding it or something like that. Something weird. I don't know. So I figured I'd do it, maybe learn something, and uh, when I got to the end, I was like, hey, maybe I could you know, record it, and maybe everybody else can learn something too. Plus, uh, this is actually kind of intimidating for me, so um, maybe I will learn something and help everybody else as well. So went ahead and started the machine. Uh, it's a little mini CTF. Again, the room is Web Fundamentals. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of, so let's see. Time to put uh, what you learned to use, all this extra stuff. There wasn't really much going on. It's just uh, answer a few questions, read a few things. No machine required. Um, so let's go back here. So we're going to ma be making some HTTP requests. Um, you can make them in many ways, including without browsers. For CTFs, you'll sometimes need, need to use curl or programming language as this allows you to automate repetitive tasks. So it looks like um, it's kind of implying, hey, you should probably use curl for this. And it kind of gives you an intro to curl. Um, I've used it once or twice. I kind of understand it. <clears throat> but uh, let's see. It tells you a little bit about um, how to retrieve a main page and um, like what kind of information gives you it gives you and what kind of flags you can input um, to get certain types of data or um, specify the type of request that you want in this case. And then, uh, then it has our tasks here. So it looks like this. There's a web server running on HTTP 1010.156.208 uh, on port 8081. Connect to it and get the flags. So just because I want to try, I'm going to go ahead and actually go to HTTP 1010.156.208.8081 uh, and just see if it lets me through. I just, I just want to know. And it does. So. Um, Let's see, get request, uh, get request, get request. Let's see if um, if I just do the CTF get, if it will actually give me the flag, and it does. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. And what we can do is, um, you know, wait, let me put in the flag first. So we'll go ahead and submit that flag. I guess we could use curl, so we could uh, clear this out. I had to actually update burp. I was going to use burp. Um, right before and then I was like you know what let me record this and then so many other things came into play and then I was like you know what I'm not gonna use burp or I'm gonna try not to I guess so uh, let's curl um, let's curl that site so, oh that's the wrong thing that's the flag so let's curl um, HTTP 10 10 208 and then that port was uh, 80 81 not 18 but 81 if we curl it uh, we see the uh, site here and that is the site that we got earlier right here so pretty basic it's just in, um, in, in an HTML format so it doesn't look um, like this over here um, so let's go ahead and make the curl request to the um, directory ctf .get. and of course we get that flag so that's pretty cool um, that's another way you could do it and it's the same flag we know that for a fact we've already actually inputted that so we don't need to do that and now we can move on to the second, which is a post request. Make a post request with the body flag, please, to ctf-post. Now, I don't know how to um, put stuff in the body using curl. So let's, um, let's clear and let's look at curl's flags that we can use. I always usually call them arguments. I don't know if that's the proper terminology when I use that, but we'll start to call them flags now. So let's see if we can uh, find any 
thing that we could put stuff in the body of. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. I um, started started in the man page, and then I just started reading and looking at all this other stuff, and uh, I was going on and on for a couple minutes or a minute or two, and then I was like, oh wait, I'm doing a video, and had to kind of come back to life here. So uh, we're looking for, we're still in the same thing, so uh, what's that? We need, we need to get the post flag, and we need to make a post request with the body flag, please. And I went into the... Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, I went to the manual for curl and um, got a little sidetracked, but now we're back. And I found uh, dash D or dash dash data uh, sends the specified data in a post request to the HTTP server in the same way that a browser does when the user has filled in an HTML form and presses the submit button. This will cause curl to pass the data to the server using the content type, and it tells you the content type compared to dash F or dash dash form. And that looks like what we need to do here. Um, I could always use a hint and check it, but I'm just going to give it a shot. I'm going to, you know, do a little shot in the dark here. So let's give it a shot. We know that we need to use the um, capital X uh, flag for curl because that is going to allow us to uh, specify the request type. So that is going to be part of our um, command there. So let's go ahead and get that going. We need to curl. Actually, let's... Uh, Let's get that old. There we are. Let's do a uh, dash x. We want to do a post request to ctf post. And we need to do dash dash data. And I will assume that I'm going to need to put this in quotation marks. And we need to do flag, please. Oh, got that underscore. And I need to spell flag, right? So flag, please. And let's see if that works. And it does. Pretty cool. Um, I've actually never used that before, and that is actually really cool. So uh, we'll go ahead and insert that into our uh, prompt here, and it looks like that was, in fact, the correct answer. So let's see what our next one is, and what's the get a cookie flag? So get a cookie. Make a get request to ctf uh, forward slash get cookie and check the cookie the server gives you. So uh, that's pretty easy, actually. We can just go ahead and take that. And what we could do is we could just plug it at the end here. And since we're in uh, Firefox, we could just hit F12. And then I believe it's in storage. It is. And there is our, uh, well, you, you can see that we're under cookies um, by default. And this is the site, obviously, that we're on. And if you look into the value of that cookie, um, you could see the flag there. So we could take that, copy that, and that should submit perfectly great and now on to the last one is to set a cookie set a cookie with the name flag please and value flag please in your dev tools and make a git request to ctf uh, forward slash send cookie Ooh, that's a uh, something i haven't done for sure okay so i need to set a cookie with the name flag please and value flag please in your dev tools and make a request to ctf send cookie okay Let's try it. Let's go to, um, what is it? We need to go to CTF send cookie. Ah, your cookie was, was it named correctly or an error occurred? Okay, that's correct because we didn't do anything. So the uh, set a cookie with name flag please and a value with flag please, okay. Uh, name is going to be flag, please. And we can uh, obviously edit this as well, so that's pretty cool. And then flag, please. Let's see if that works. We refresh it. Boom. And that works. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's a way to go about doing it on the uh, on curl. Let me see. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, do that, but... <laughs> Luckily, we copied it in time, so we can just go ahead and post that, and we are finished with that room. It was actually pretty quick, but um, I just, like I said, I figured I would um, post it. Maybe somebody out there uh, has a little hard time with uh, web fundamentals and, you know, uh, maybe learned a little thing about uh, curl or and how to uh, look at cookies and edit them and, you know, didn't know those small little things that uh, make a world of difference. But uh, while I still got you here, um, I'm going to go ahead and see about 
how I can do the, uh, this last flag via curl. So let's, um, let's head back to the man page for curl and look for cookies. We need cookies. CA path. Let's see. No. Looking for something good. Config. Connect. Cookie jar. Cookie at. Let's see. Is there anything else? Cookie data. Cookie data file name. Ooh, name equals. Okay. Specify to which file you want the curl to write all to write all cookies after completed operation. Curl writes all cookies from this. Nah. Pass the data to the HTTP server in in the cookie header. It disposes the data previously received from the server in in a set cookie line. Hmm. The data should be in the format name one equals value name two equals boom. If no equal symbol is used in the argument, it is instead treated as a file name to read previously stored cookies from. Curl record. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so dash B. Let's try dash B. Let's see, can I? I'm gonna copy this. If I go there, well, it's gonna save that cookie. It is. So let's um, pop. Let's go ahead and jump out of that. Curl. That we want to curl the um, the site that has the cookie that we need to do uh, cookie that we need to edit, and it'll be name one equals flag please and name name two equals flag please and we need to edit that one because that is a plus sign and not a underscore. Your cookies wasn't named correctly or an error occurred. See if I just do one. Hmm. Let's see if they. Uh, let's let's. I want to see the hint for this. Using Firefox Dev Tools, you can add a cookie. I don't know. It's got to be a way to. Uh, let's see. A cookie name and value with curl. name and value oh you know what did I thought it was an underscore I may have actually done it right or no I didn't I don't think I did but we're, we're gonna go there anyways okay thought I did but I was wrong okay so let's see add a cookie uh, add two cookies okay session add an empty cookie save cookies to a file load cookies Hmm, let's see. We'll do value.
Oh, I get it now. Okay, awesome. So what I could do is I could curl dash B and do flag please equals flag please, right? And then to that, and boom, there we are. Okay, I was actually reading the manual page wrong. Um, I just needed to slow down a little bit. So the recipe uses dash B name equals value. So in this case, the name of the cookie is session and the value is A, B, C, D, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. And the argument to set a cookie with the name session to the value A, B, C, D, E, F. In a get request to google.com. In this, in this uh, example, the full header uh, that curl sets for this request looks like this. Boom. So awesome. So there, I did learn something a little bit through curl. Cool. And that is our that is indeed our flag. We can confirm that uh, C10B5 and you can see C10B5. And we're good to go. That is uh, that I think that's a wrap. That's awesome. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I apologize. It's not very long. It's not a very long video, but uh, like I said, I figured since I was doing it, I could record it and maybe somebody learned something from it. And as you can see, I definitely did. So um, I appreciate you guys for watching this, guys and gals. I apologize. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you sometime. Bye.